How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today we're actually doing an unboxing of something for my wife. This is a Penelope. It's called the Penelope Holiday Holly Holiday Hollywood, Hollywood. Penelope Hollywood Mirror uh, for a beauty area. So she's going to be doing the unboxing of this one because I don't know anything about beauty or anything like that. <laughs> neither, so, do, neither, neither do I. To yeah. Be like this. So <laughs> let's do an unboxing. We're going to be mounting on the wall and then see what it looks like. Hi guys, so I'm going to talk about what we've got in the box. So first thing is this little quite small instruction. Just tells you what's inside the box and just tells you how best to wall mount it as well. Then we've got the power pack and power brick even. So that's the bit that connects to the mirror and then obviously that's your mains plugs there. Um, it's quite weighty, it shouldn't be an issue though. Um, then we've got an envelope with all the fixings in. Um, not 100% sure what exactly we're getting in there, but I'm sure it'll have everything we need. And then we have the light bulb, um, which is a what's E27. The E27 light bulb, um, 6,500k. Um, so apparently that's supposed to be really, really bright. So hopefully it will be. And you get 11 of them for obviously the 11 slots on there. Then finally the mirror in all its glory. Um, stand up. I'll stand up. Okay, um, so as you can see, it's really clear. Um, and then we've got the switch here on the side here, which is the dimmable switch, which is quite a cool feature. Um, I actually didn't know it came with a dimmable switch. And yeah. that's, I think that's it for the mirror. So now, spin it around, you can see oh. the back. <laughs> so that's the back of it there. So. I'm guessing that's just for the wall mount bit. No, the wall mount's here. Isn't oh, it? okay. So, so what's, two, what's this for? Uh, hook there for the wall mount. It's probably just some for some light, you know. That'll be for the power platform. Oh, okay, right, yeah. Okay. So you've got four points here where you have to do your wall mount. Okay. Cut out groove at the bottom. For, for the your cable, wire. And the cable goes in there. So. Yep. So. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so now we're going to wall mount it. what we've done here so basically this is a plasterboard wall unfortunately our beam stored is right in the middle so we've had to use plasterboard fixings to mount the mirror um, so we've used uh, these toggle bolts here so um, these are really good if you're mounting heavy things onto the wall because they can take about 20 kg um, each when they mount it properly so these are toggle bolts and basically you drill a hole into the plasterboard big enough to fit that through then you push it in and it fans out and then you can um, you know anchor it to the ground when it's uh, to the wall when it's screwed out and then we, what we've done is we put these washers so we just put these washers in between um, the wall and the and this little bolt here to give it some clearance so we can hang the uh, mirror on there and it's worked quite well so I've done the top two here and then I just got to do the bottom two, and then I got to drill a hole in the middle um, for the uh, cable, power cable, and we're going to fish that through down, down there, into the back here, and then into the plug socket. So nearly done. up as you can see um one thing i did want to mention was the fact that when we were putting it up um 
once you've put it up and you've put the, once you've put all the screws in and the mounts in and then you put it onto the wall you can't actually adjust the mount so just be really careful make sure your measurements are precise and very precise and um, otherwise you might be in an issue you might have an issue where it might be a bit off and you might struggle to mount it you might have to re redo the mounts um but now i want to talk about the top five things that i really like about this mirror so first thing is obvious thing the lights <laughs> um are really fantastic they're really even lighting the fact that they're all around as well makes it quite good especially for when i'm doing my makeup and my hair so one thing that i noticed when i was doing my makeup for the first time in the mirror was the fact that it looked really bright it made it look like it was a natural light of what i would expect if i was going outside and doing my makeup in the sun for example previously when i had my other mirror and um without these lights and i just had my top light um I had to keep running to the other mirror which was in the bedroom which had which had better lighted to check to check if it looked all right and to check if it was even now i don't have to do that which is really good um as well the fact that the lights they're so bright makes it really good for like catching like the colors in your eyes and the colors in your hair so that's really good it's good for selfies if people if some i know some people might like to do selfies in that in the mirror i probably will as well um and so that makes it much much of a that makes it quite a unique feature that it has that one of the reasons one of the things that i love about it um another good thing to talk about is the fact that each individual bulb can be replaced so if for instance one does go i mean they're leds so chances are they'll probably last for some time but if for any reason there's any issues and one does go you can just replace them also this is a white light um, and if you'd prefer to have a warmer light you can also replace it with warm lighting um, I personally just prefer the white light because I wanted it really bright especially for things like when I'm doing my makeup second thing that I really liked about the mirror was the fact that it had a dimmer switch um, which in this mirror it's on the right hand side just here um, it's really good it feels really sturdy of a switch and it turns it off as well um, feels really well built um i have a criticism which is more of a me thing than the actual than than with the switch itself is it doesn't have any clicks it's just smooth all the way around whereas i personally probably would prefer a click for maybe when it's going off so then i know it's off i mean it doesn't really make much of a difference because you know it's off when the lights are off okay so the third thing i wanted to mention was the clarity of the mirror it's really clear so prior to having this mirror i actually had um, a small a much smaller mirror which was just sat on my desk and it was at a bit of a tilt so it got the right angle and there was loads of dust all over it whereas because i think more so because this is actually wall mounted it means that it doesn't really catch any flecks of dust i'll be honest it doesn't really get dusty at all either um, which is one good thing because before i had to keep constantly dusting um and so obviously again it's really good for when you want to use it you don't need to worry about oh, i need to dust it again now um doesn't look like there's any imperfections um transit itself was really good as you could as you could see before it was quite well packaged so there was no issues when it arrived um and generally the, the clarity of it's really good um, one thing to actually mention is whilst it's brilliant for doing my overall makeup anything that um, girls you probably know what I mean when doing eye makeup for example so like eyeshadow your eyeliner your mascara I still do need to use my smaller mirror here just because it's just you can see it better and you've got you've got a better angle for it um, but other than that um, hair it brilliant for hair and again it just catches the light really well so number four talking about the fact that it's wall mounted really good because for me it's made means that i've got a lot more space underneath here um so i can have my bits and bobs decorations makeup um so that makes it really good um, for me as well it's obviously much more level on so again i didn't need to i don't need to tilt it or anything like that to get the right angle to make sure my makeup looks really good at a certain angle and things like that 
And finally, the final thing I wanted to talk about and touch on was the fact that it comes with a five year warranty. Um, now the build quality itself is really good, so I can't imagine it being any issues. It's quite heavy, it feels very sturdy, um, it feels solid and it's metal. Um, however, if there are any issues, the fact that it comes with a five year warranty means that um, any issues they'll replace it for you or they'll replace for example if i'm guessing if there's any issues with any bulbs they can replace them and that's it thanks so much for watching our unboxing and review of the hollywood mirror if you liked it um, please drop us a like and subscribe down below um, also there's a link down below to purchase the mirror um, there's a uh, discount code of dipscovery10 which if used you'll get 10 pound off your purchase catch you later